Donna was asking a question about communication boxes in the on the VNC. And of course, there's there's a lot of that information on the VNC. So what we did was we pulled some stuff out of uh, a part of the course that we call Map Symbol Mysteries. The example here we've used is uh, Kingston. So I think what Donna was talking about was the heavy line box. And the heavy line box, you may remember, means there's a flight service station on site that's normally going to be providing airport advisory service on a mandatory frequency. So you got to be able to learn to decode this. So that's what the heavy line box means. And here's a close up of it. So wherever you see this symbol, the heavy line box, it includes what they call standard group frequencies. And the standard group frequencies are available unless they're crossed out. So the standard group frequencies include 126.7 VHF, right, megahertz, 243.0, which is a UHF military frequency, that is standard, and 121.5. So we can see here at Kingston that 126.7 and 243.0 are crossed out, not available at Kingston, even though they would be standard. 122.5 is on top of the box, so that indicates that it is available. And at the bottom, it says flight service station operating limited hours. So it's not a 24-7 operation. You have to remember, though, and again, you're trying to answer an exam question. They might say what VHF frequencies are available at Kingston. And the answer is 122.5 and 121.5, the emergency frequency, because it is standard and it's not crossed out. They're not going to cross out the emergency frequency. At Kingston, there's also a thin line box. So that's the one that's right here, down here. And normally that's going to indicate the presence of a remote communications outlet or RCO. It connects to a radio station that's not located on the site. Remember that the Flight Information Center is the agency that you call to get your weather briefing you know TAMs, and that's basically what they do. Flight planning, weather, no TAMs. That's what a flight information center does. Sometimes you will see that a flight information center or another flight service station does provide remote airport advisory service to one of these through one of these remote communication outlets. That's not what's happening here. So in this case, there's an RCO located at Kingston. It operates on 123.55, you're talking to London Radio, and they also have the capacity to broadcast one-way communication. They talk to you, you can't talk to them on 126.7. So that's an example of a remote communications outlet, right? 123.55 is the two-way frequency. That's the uh, frequency you'd use to change a flight plan or get some weather for a different destination. You would get that from London, from the Flight Information Center. The word Kingston is simply the location of the transceiver antenna, okay? It's London radio down in the brackets underneath. That's who you're going to talk to.